MPD, MPD yes, officers. actual MPD, traffic wardens, yes. Okay. They will get something like 14,000 to 15,000, somewhere around there. I said, look, um, is it possible that we can just chop this amount? Four, six, eight, twelve, six, yeah. Like one traffic warden can be equal to four, but, you know, patrollers. And then from there, we managed to get the budget from that. So instead of hiring these patrollers, which are 250, I can able to double the number, you know. So we're going to hire about 700 patrollers. And mm. then we said in each ward, not in each sector, then those, those patrollers are able to be uh, eyes and ears for JMPD. So that is now I'm bringing in what is called community-based policing. So that they're able, they're able to be eyes and ears. Look at Alex. Alex, I'm getting, I'm getting intel every time. Even at Riverley, even where we were, that was an intel by the public, like those, those patrollers. They worked very hard. But the problem is that um, I'm actually even, um, 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 we are going to go to a point where we are going to ask the national to do what's that? It's the, um, what's that thing called, Kenny? Um, the, 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 the grant. We're going to do a grant for them. We are going to apply for a grant. You, if, if, well, what happens is that if you do an EPWP sort of, and then you, you demonstrate that uh, it works and people are working, you can apply, you can apply for a grant. Okay. So I'm going to, nationally, I'm going to ask for a grant for patrollers. So that these patrollers in Alex, you must do a story about Alex one. Alex ones, they actually can chase a criminal with a gun. <laughs> that, okay. that, that's how efficient that they are. I'll right. tell you what, I want to.